Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install XAMPP on Mac OS. So it's very easy. At first, open any browser. I'm opening Chrome. Here in type XAMPP. Press enter. On pressing enter, open the website, the official website apachefriends.org. Here it is. Now click on download. On clicking XAMPP for Windows. XAMPP for Linux and XAMPP for OS X, that means Mac is visible. So here in the current version, the latest version is 8.0.7 PHP. It is for 64 bit, it's fine, 162 MB. I'll click on it to download. So it is a DMG file, click on it to download. The download started. So guys, we downloaded it. Now go to downloads from here. Here in you can see our file is visible. You can just go to show in finder and here it is. You can see the extension is BS2. You can just right click and rename BS2 to DMG. That's it. Yes, we have changed it. Now we can double click on it. Let's double click and minimize this. Here it is XAMPP, double click on it, open it, enter the admin password, ok. Now the installation begins, click on next, yes keep the same, click on next, XAMPP will be installed in application XAMPP, it's fine, click on next and next. Now you can see it will start installing. Let's minimize this. Click on next to start the setup. It is installing, minimize this. Now installation started. So guys here in you can see we have installed XAMPP. Now I'll click on finish. On clicking finish it will launch. Welcome to XAMPP. Let's minimize this. Here in you can see the installation started. Now I'll go to manage servers. Here in you can see MySQL database. I'll click on start. Allow. It's running now. Now I'll go to Apache web server. I'll click on start here. Now it is also running. Now let's go to server events. You can see it is started at port number 3306. Here in you can see welcome. Let us now click on open application folder. Here in you can see stdocs is visible. So within that we will be adding our program. Now we will create a new program. Before that guys you can go to browser. Here in go to localhost and press enter. You can see it is running successfully. Now we will minimize this and create a new file. So here in so here in guys we created amit.php you can right click and open it with any editor. If you have VS code it's fine. If you have text editor it's fine. It won't matter. Click on it. Now guys we will write a code. Let's add a sample code. So here in I'll add a simple line. Let's increase the font. Now I'll just print a line. Let's say I'll use echo. Echo is used to print a line. Semicolon. First PHP program on XAMPP macOS. Okay, now I'll go to file and click on save. It's fine now. The name of the file is amid.php and it's under stdocs. Go to localhost here and type now here and type the port number. It should be 8080. 3306 was for MySQL press enter. So the name of our file was amid.php press enter. On pressing enter, you can see we successfully ran our first program, first PHP program on XAMPP Mac OS. We wrote it here. First first PHP program on XAMPP Mac OS. 
we just added localhost slash the name of the file that's it so our file was in application folder and under stdocs just like windows we created amit.phe file and we ran it successfully you can see here so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install xamp on mac os we ran the apache server as well as mysql with that we went to localhost and just typed our new php file which we created in our sd docs just like windows so we ran php 8.0.7 on xamp mac os successfully if you like the video do subscribe 